Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're discussing the top five reasons why people love living in Howard County, Maryland. So if that's the kind of information you are looking for and you are considering making a move out to this area, then this video is for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Living in Maryland channel where we discuss all things living here in the great state of Maryland. So if that's the kind of information that you are looking for, then you are definitely in the right spot and we really appreciate you being here. And if you are thinking about making a move here to Maryland, if you're wondering whether purchasing or selling a home here in the area is the right move for you. We absolutely love having conversations about that and seeing how we can best assist. So feel free to reach out however you are most comfortable, whether that's by phone, text, or email. Days, nights, and weekends, we've got your back when moving here to the great state of Maryland. All right, so as mentioned today, we are talking about the top five reasons why people love living in Howard County. And I'm gonna be one of them since I live here in Howard County. Um, some of this is definitely from my own experience as well. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is things to do here in the area. And there's a lot to do, especially if you enjoy getting outdoors. Um, and that's kind of what I think this uh, main first topic here is about. So things to do, there's no shortage of things to do here in the area. A um, Couple things that I wanted to mention. One um, is gonna be Old Ellicott City. And this is a, an amazing historic district of Ellicott City. Um, it's an awesome little area with some cool little shops, some awesome restaurants, um, and just a great time, you know, whether it's during the day, during the week, um, definitely a little slower at that time, or if you're just going out for your typical Friday, Saturday, uh, weekend, evening, dinner night, um, this is something um, that never disappoints. So a lot of cool little areas um, in Old Ellicott City to check out, and the architecture and the overall environment in Old Ellicott City will not disappoint. So definitely something you have to check out if you are visiting or living or moving to Howard County, Maryland. Um, another thing that I wanna mention is the parks in Howard County, Maryland. There are so many, um, and definitely one of my favorite parts about living here in the area. So a couple that I wanted to mention, you've got Bland Air Park in Columbia. Um, this is a huge, massive uh, park. It's actually one of the newer ones built in the last 10 years, and they're still working their way uh, through a couple final phases. Um, but this is on an old um, historic farm in the area, and it's just massive. So many uh, opportunities, whether you're an adult, whether you're, uh, you know, you have kids, um, there's just, it really fits all age ranges. So definitely something to check out. Bland Air Park, you've got Centennial Park, which is in Ellicott City. Uh, this is on over 300 acres, so you can just, you know, there's so much opportunity to get outdoors, whether you're walking, um, enjoying, you know, the lake and all the animals and the nature that they have. Uh, here at that park, that's definitely something to check out. You've also got, which is not too far from Centennial Park, Clark's Ellie Oak Farm. Uh, this is an awesome area to get out that's really central within uh, Howard County um, and really, you know, a kid-friendly area. So if you have little ones, if you've got kids um, at all, this is definitely a place that we enjoy um, going to, especially when the weather's not too hot or too cold. Um, so definitely a cool area to check out. And then the state parks. So you've got access to a couple um, here in Howard County to the north. Uh, to the north of Ellicott City and Elkridge, as you're kind of running the north line of Howard County, you've got Patapsco State Park, um, which is a massive state park, really cool river, uh, lots of different trails and things to do back there. And then to the south, as you're bordering um, the southern part of Howard County, um, and then bordering uh, into Montgomery County, you've got Patuxent State Park. So a lot of uh, opportunity there as well. So uh, if you'd like to get outdoors, if you'd like to hike and do all those sorts of things, uh, there's so much opportunity within Howard County to check out. All right, number two that I wanna mention is gonna be having uh, access to Columbia. And Columbia is really uh, the hub of Howard County uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it's the biggest town or city within Howard County. Um, and two, it's you know pretty central um, you know, in the center of Howard County. So if you find yourself wanting to go out to dinner, doing any kind of shopping or entertainment, um, you're definitely gonna find a lot of options in Columbia. So it's really nice having that right within uh, Howard County. Uh, for me, I live in Ellicott City. We're always in Columbia. Uh, whether we're going out, you know, or, you know, to eat, do any kind of shopping, we're always kind of uh, taken to Columbia because they just have so many different options. So a few cool things that I wanted to mention about Columbia. One, um, just so much different type of housing, all different kinds of price ranges. So whatever you're looking for, whether it's a, you know, one, one bedroom uh, condo up to a large single family home, uh, Columbia has everything in between and all things to offer when it comes to housing. Um, and then things to do. So they've got three uh, man-made uh, uh, lakes that Columbia owns and operates. So uh, these all have paved walking trails um, around them. They've got tons of different trails that are all interconnected 
uh, within Colombia. Um, so that's really something uh, that's very cool that Colombia has to offer. Um, you've also got the Meriwether District. So this has been around for a while, but it's also continuing um, to be built up and things that they're adding um, in addition to um, all the different you know venues that they have around there and entertainment options. Um, there's housing and apartments that are coming. Um, so a lot of cool things to do there. Uh, Meriwether uh, Post Pavilion is a really uh, cool spot where they actually have you know concerts and all sorts of things there. Uh, different kind of festivals throughout the year. So they have wine in the woods, various beer festivals um, throughout the year. So if you enjoy getting out for events like that, there's all sorts of things happening all throughout the year at Meriwether Post Pavilion. And then on the topic of Colombia, I figured I would mention one of my newer favorite restaurants in the area if you wanted to check something out. Um, so it is right next to Meriwether uh, District that I was referencing. Um, and it's really two restaurants kind of combined into one. I mean, they're, they're kind of separate, but they share a kitchen. Um, and they're kind of in the same, uh, you know, under the same roof. So uh, if you Google cured, um, and then you'll also see it pop up as 18th and 21st. Um, so they've got really good, you know, menu as far as, you know, food, they've got great drinks. And then 18th and 21st is uh, a jazz bar, kind of a speakeasy kind of feel and vibe to it, which is really cool. So the last time we went, we did dinner at Cured, and then we just kind of walked right over uh, to the jazz bar and kind of hung out for about another hour there. Um, really good music, really good drinks, uh, good dessert as well. So uh, if you're looking for something to check out and try, I would definitely check that out. All right, number three on the list is that there are a lot of families here in the Howard County area. So I think this has been a big draw for people as well, especially with um, how well known Howard County schools are. So people really flock to the area for that. So you definitely see a lot of kids, a lot of families here in the area. Um, and then you do see a lot of communities uh, within Howard County that are built in the 80s and 90s. I know for myself, I live in one of them uh, that's built during that time frame. So you're starting to see a lot of those communities that were built at that time. A lot of the original homeowners, people who have stayed in the home, uh, raising their families and then starting to downsize. So you're starting to see over the last few years and then continuing um, into now and moving forward, a lot of those communities starting to kind of turn over and having a lot of younger people and a lot of younger families um, come in. So you see that all over the place. And I think that that's a big reason uh, that people come here as well. All right, number four is gonna be the various housing options that almost all of uh, Howard County has. So as you get into Western Howard County, it starts to get a little more, um, you know, pretty much all single families. Uh, but for the most part, Ellicott City, Columbia, and, you know, heading east, uh, you have all different types of housing. So uh, various range of budgets, you know, whether it's condos, townhomes, apartments, uh, single family homes, you really have a good mix of it all, especially Columbia, I had mentioned that earlier. Um, you know, they really do a good job of kind of making sure that they mix all that stuff in. So you could be driving down the street and see some condos, townhomes, and single families all within a couple blocks. So um, depending on the area you're in, you're definitely going to see it all. Um, but especially in Columbia, you're going to notice a lot more of that, you know, mixture of all of those uh, within close proximity. And then last but not least, number five is going to be the central location of Howard County. So uh, whether you are going to work in central Maryland, whether you are driving out of D.C., Baltimore, Howard County is right in the mix of it all. We're about 20, 25 minutes from Baltimore. Most parts of Howard County are about 45 uh, to 50 minutes down to DC, uh, depending on traffic. Um, so just kind of so much in the mix of everything here and then so much to do in between Baltimore and DC. Um, of course, you know, going into Baltimore and DC is just such an easy day trip. So, so much to do with both of those metros and both of those cities um, so close. And then we have access to uh, the beaches on the Eastern shore, about two and a half, three hours over there crossing the Bay Bridge. And then you've got Deep Creek access to the Wisp uh, Resort out there where you can do skiing. You've got all different kinds of lake activities, hiking. Um, it is elevated. I think it's about uh, 3,000 uh, you know, feet up there. So it's definitely a smaller mountain, but, you, but it is a mountain and you're kind of elevated and have that whole vibe up there. And that's only about... Uh, two and a half hours into, uh, you know, Western Maryland, uh, which is Garrett County. Um, so, so many different options to do within a short distance, within a short drive, um, which is one of the things that I love about it. So, for me growing up out West, everything was so spread apart. It was hard to, uh, you know, do all sorts of things like that in a short uh, time frame or within a short, you know, reasonable driving distance. So, definitely something cool that Maryland has uh, to offer. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about moving here to the area or any real estate questions at all, please feel free to reach out anytime and we'll see you at the next video.